Welcome to Chewing the Cud. This week we're doing, well, basically a clip show, so strap in. <laughs> Sorry. On screen now you can see all I needed to react to that. All right, calm, calm down, yeah. <laughs> oh. On screen now you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Cud TV on social media where you can follow us. Which way? That way, that way. <laughs> you're the director, Dean. <laughs> um, <laughs> do as I'm told, don't I? <laughs> um, well, on screen now, you can see all the way to <laughs> all the laughing, Dean. <laughs> They're just chuckling in the background. You know, back in the day, mm -hmm. I've got some really good stories, actually. Because back in the day, when I was at uni in mm -hmm. Stoke-on-Trent, we don't talk about it, um, but when I was at uni in Stoke-on-Trent, uh, when we used to get bored, because you know when you're younger, you stay up till stupid o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. me and my friends used to go um, jogging for fun. I still do. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, I don't because that would be illegal. Yeah, well, we but... didn't actually go jogging. So what we would do is we'd drive along in the car, mm -hmm. And then we'd park up with, with obviously all the other cars and then flash the headlights and then wait for them to get out of the car. Um, and then we'd stick our heads out the window and go, hey, you dirty bastards, you're on camera. <laughs> they weren't, but we'd then drive away and it, we'd just laugh to ourselves. They thought, you're f***ing <laughs> But we enjoyed it. It was a good time. Good. Uh, that's, that's, that's one way of enjoying dogging. Yeah, it's always one thing to do to pass the time at 4am, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. It's a lot healthier than some things that people do at 4 a.m. Exactly, indeed. After eating so many kebabs. Well, I mean... I mean... I mean, it's obviously broken if it's gone. It's obviously up. broken. <laughs> but not even that, you must broke... You must... I mean, I know what an asshole could do. We've, <laughs> we've seen those sites. We've seen what uh -huh. it could do. We've seen what could go in there, what could... go in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I'm pretty sure coming out probably not as bad as going in. No, it's just yeah. But let me let me let me ask you a question, Mister Mister Kebab Boy. If you're psychologically hurt by it, you've been sleeping on a kebab. You've been shagging that thing so good because how are you mentally not happy? <laughs> it has to be because. How is he physically and psychologically like Because he's consumed 250,000 calories in a month. He's eaten 124 kebabs. Nothing else, but just 124 but kebabs. who forced him? He did it to raise money for a charity. He's doing it to raise um, money for okay. Francis House Children's Hospice. Okay, now I feel... Okay. I feel a little... <laughs> now I feel a little bit you, bad. You went a little bit too okay, in, didn't you? Okay, <laughs> okay charity... Cha okay, everything's for cause, charity. Yeah. But there's a lot of other things you could do, honey, like go for... Oh, I remember MySpace. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting closer to my real age. I was good friends with Tom. Me and Tom go way back. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of people that learn how to do HTML code. Yes. So did you do MySpace? I did do MySpace. You did do MySpace. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, I don't know. I, I've got an approximation of where you sit in the age gap. I'm 40. You're 40. OK. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I you can't hide it. It was on yeah, the show. <laughs> so you, yeah, you, you would have been a few years beyond me. So I'm assuming you skipped the scene kid bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I did the scene kid bit. Okay. The thousands and thousands of fringe, the sweeping fringe, the eyeliner, mm -hmm. the claw hands. Ki oh, and when kissing boys was like hot. I had a really good teen time. <laughs> Honestly, the yeah, amount of straight guys I used to hook up with because it was like, oh, yeah, but girls really like it. I'm like, yeah, they really do. <laughs> yeah, I missed that. I think that's how my parents found out I was gay. It was, yeah, it, somehow... My parents said, oh, this printed off the computer. What they'd done is they printed off evidence because I'd left myself logged in on MySpace. Don't do that. If you're not ready to come out, don't leave yourself logged in on your social media. But also, parents, don't do printouts from that and then ask your kids uncomfortable questions because you might not get answers that you want. I, most kids these days have that on their own iPads and their own phones. And it's stuff, true. So it's, yeah. Back in the day, we had a shared, shared family computer. PC. Yeah. yeah. The dial up internet. It was made of cardboard. And um, <laughs> yeah. 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 Lovely. Little... 
you couldn't have a quiet wank. You Just could saying. not, no. Someone would be on the phone and you're there on, well, it wasn't Pornhub back then, was it? What, what was it people used to use? Um, <laughs> I just used to Google. <laughs> Google. Bum in. Google. Bum in, yeah. <laughs> I want to see, I'm going to say it was Jason Momoa. It wasn't Jason Momoa, it was LL Cool J. LL Cool J naked and see what came up. Uh huh. And, and shirtless pick would be fine for me. But anyway, that's almost the end of this. Ah, <laughs> oh, cute. There he is! <laughs> There you are. Hello. Do you know what, Dean? I just realised you have the exact voice of Brian from Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you realise that? We're talking to air. I hear it. Yeah. You definitely sound like Brian. <laughs> Is that, is that dry, sarcastic humour? <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Sounds like it, but is, is um, much more like Herbert. Not a pedo. Get your friend out of here. <laughs> 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 Terrible behaviour from you both. I'm never coming back here. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Ended up in Facebook jail for three days. It was overturned because, yeah. Finished now. We have to hear your f***ing <laughs> stories about <laughs> who used to film in black and white. And the <laughs> right. <laughs> Pre-decimalisation, Dean. That's why I wasn't showing up, because you weren't ready for me. I'm not ready for me. No, you weren't. Yeah, just saying. <laughs> you did. Naughty Dean. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. You're with me, Nick Charles. I have the lovely, the lovely, the sometimes pretty. It's Mike! Never pretty. <laughs> Never pretty at all. But yeah. Right. Me? Oh, I see. This chair has moved because shit's just fallen off. Um. What have you got today for us today, Mike? Oh, I'm, I'm at the What's that? I'm just having a bit of a moment. I'm just having a... Yeah, I need to move this chair. Sorry. <laughs> Yay. I was just working out whether my arse cheek would go numb. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. And I'll never do that for Valentine's ever again. Hello, hello, hello. I am Dominic Berry and welcome to Chewing the Cud. Absolutely thrilled to be here, but you've told me to stop. No, you've not told me to stop. I thought Dean said stop. Sorry. No, I was I... really happy with that yeah, as yeah, well. I good. thought, oh no, what have I done wrong? No, it's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dean whittering to Paul. Right, okay, sorry. It's okay. Yeah. We can do it again. <laughs> I, you, I just talk up, it's easy. Isn't it? it's like, God, is that you? <laughs> no. It, no, it isn't, Dean. <laughs> Give him ideas. Um, no, you, last... <laughs> you are not going to be the daddy in this ball game. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure the boys know it is called your daddy, but not in this room. Ah, not they, the... they say grand first. What? <laughs> oh, Who's my the grand God. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> why are you all trying to touch yourself in the middle of a show? And why am I not watching? You don't want to watch. Oh, do I not? Oh. I'm broken.
Well, actually, I mean, the headline itself is not well written because it says, Britain's Got Talents, Bruno Tonioli Breaks Silence. Oh, no, wait, that's something else. Ignore me. Right, scrap that. <laughs> um, I, I was getting, building into this thing about it. I thought it said something like, Britain's Got Talents, Bruno Tonioli Breaks Silence on being on Britain's Got Talent. I was like, well, you've broke, given it away, but actually, <laughs> yeah. it's about a shock text. Yeah. yeah. So, let, do we know what, let's see what the text said. I hate clickbait. Um... I love it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? David sent me a text and a fantastic bottle of wine. <laughs> sure. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Great. Right. So. Hi, I'm Narcissa, and you're watching the best bits of Chewing the Cud, like this one here. Of the world's oldest iPads. Is it as old as the Sony Walkman, though? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first iPad Pro, so it's what, 2016? Oh, wow. I know. But if it still works, we use it till it doesn't. That's, that's my dating pro profile as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep using it till it doesn't work. Oh, well, mine gave up ages ago. <laughs> that's... I don't actually, I don't know whether I gave up with it or it gave, gave up. up with me. Yeah, mine tried to sue me, but yes. <laughs> litigious, see? <laughs> litigious, I told yeah. you, litigious is the word of the day. <laughs> Have you ever had a wonky wine? A wonky wine? Or a wine wonky. Oh, a wine wank. That is, that is just... Uh, that is a... What is a wine wank? That is a... Is that just having a, that, having a glass of wine while having a wank? That is a great... <laughs> that is a great way to use something into this, but I don't know how to. That's oh, okay. You, you, Not you being dragged on, dragged so loudly, Mike. Not, not always drinking wine. Sometimes it's gin. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with a crying wank. <laughs> Why am I alone? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you film it. Oh, this is still got, this is still being filmed. <laughs> this is an outtake, easily done. Um, uh, no, I thought, no, I, th I hope yours is filmed. You do not, do you not, do you not film your, only fans. film your, film your crying wank? Uh, no. <laughs> That's good content, you know. I tell you, everything, so listen, <laughs> if people can make, petition. if you can make money on Feed Find, I'm sure you can make money for a cry, having a cry wank, so. No, trust me. There's a window. Uh, <laughs> I can't even give it away for free in a minute. Ah, um, that's a lie. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> So where is he? Add shovel, there it is. So yeah. Yes, thanks. So, so yeah, any, any particular other, you know, things you'd like to do move-wise to get a <laughs> <laughs> Just the swank. There are certain games where you can uh, change the outfits of the characters. So Soul Calibur and Dead or Alive are very good for having men wearing thongs. So you can see their, their buttocks, which is good, yeah. <laughs> yes, please. That would not be me, because I'm in them already. So, um, are we, are we stopped recording? Can we have a separate file, please? Yeah, thanks. So we're good. Do I read this bit? Uh, no, this is at the end. So we're we're now free. We're now free balling. I believe the phrase is. Um, oh my! All the way. Oh, the it's mother. Mother row has arrived. Mother Benyon row has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this headpiece, by the way. Thanks. It's a beret. A beret. A beret. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this week. Well, as it's Valentine's Day. Um, I thought I'd get some great, lovely ideas for shopping. I'm going to do that again because <laughs> it. Well, <laughs> just thought, you know, f it. That wire's messy. That's the reason I f it. <laughs> <laughs> no to do with being non professional. Not. Oh, okay, fine. A for effort, though. Yeah, okay. E for execution. If you don't get this one, there's no hope for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
Is it Sam Smith and Kim Petras on Holy? It is indeed. Well done, you. Oh. I did that without any clues whatsoever. Ah, uh, look at that. No clues. Yeah. I think that's gone on long enough. Do you not think? <laughs> Do you think so, Mike? I, like, I actually wanted to be one for a really long time. I even went to university to study law with Auntie Ginger, actually. Right. I know, <laughs> yes. Back in the day. I think that's one of my favourite things, actually, like Manchester story-wise, because um, we were on the same course mm -hmm. and I only stuck it for a year because I realised, you know what? This isn't for me. <laughs> I was like working really long days, mm -hmm. ruining people's lives, you know. Which is fun. Yeah, but, but I can do that. I can do that for like in my spare time. That's mm -hmm. a hobby, and yeah. you shouldn't ruin what you love by doing it for work. So, in fact, basically, me and Ginger were on the same course. Um, but the thing is, is Ginger doesn't remember me. <gasps> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. So Ginger didn't remember me, and I actually brought it up on. Um, Loose, loose queens mm -hmm. and the look of shock and horror on her face when she was like we went to the same university I was like we were on the same course she was like well it was it was very very fun because i'd held on to it for years and years and years and years as well because i remember when she first moved to manchester mm -hmm. um and she used to come to cha cha boudoir mm -hmm. so and she used to come and she'd be like oh you should be so fab love your work blah 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 blah, blah. and i was like Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> like, I've known you for years. But I thought, no, it's just fine. Hold on it, to that. As it's gone on and on and on, I was like, the, the time will come where I can just go. <laughs> and I thought, what better time when, when we're filming a little a little telly box show for, mm -hmm. for the YouTubes. <laughs> Bring it up now. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> <laughs> just wait for him to. You lit the sparkler. What? The grey thing at the back. <laughs> we're not singing, right? No, we're not singing. Oh, thank God. We need to hear my docile tones. Stop lighting that. It's a lot of dust. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's a sparkler. Yeah. No, it is. It's smoking. And that's my <laughs> finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually falling on fire. True bitches do burn like witches. There you go. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. It's got a reminder on it. All right, I'm just trying to stop it from falling over at the minute. Yeah, yeah. luckily. Oh, I'm just, I start, look, don't start on that wide shot, Dick. I really don't like it <laughs> because of that there. I've already done that, right? Just start with camera one on this face. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Look at boy, look at boy. Captain Kim references. I'm doing it in my own time, don't you worry. He's very on it today. Someone's fed him. Get what? I've already done that bit. It's a, no, it's a, I've, I've just... I just... I was thinking of a thing to say that wasn't welcome to Juna Could. Now my brain's gone a bit... Meh. Which is that test card noise. Mm. 
I'll be waiting a moment. Sorry. I'm not even having a conversation. I've literally just got that <laughs> noise in my head. And the little girl with the sad clown. Mm. That punch. <laughs> there we go. We're out of it now. <laughs> um, this this segment, you should do dance performances because we need... I think, <laughs> Interpretive dance. Yeah, I think you... Yeah. Yeah, I want you to give me Strictly Come Dancing. Strictly Come Baldy. Strictly Come On Me Face. Ah! Right, <laughs> this is the next one. If it's anything. We are recording on everything. Which means now anything you say. It's on the record. It's on the record. It can be used in a court of law. Good. Um, I'm choices. getting litigious in my old age. <laughs> I really am. I, I can't wait to be rich enough to just get to that point where you go, I'm just going to take them to court. I'm just going to sue them for something to do. I'm sure that's what people do. They reach a point of boredom where they go, right, I've got enough money, I'm just going to sue people. OK. I wouldn't know I'm not at that age yet. <laughs> well, I just want to get I just want to get there, you know, obviously at the first telly gig, planning for the second telly gig when, fingers crossed, my time comes. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that, we, you know, we had Davina on. Just saying. I've known Davina a very long time. I think everybody else, if you're in Manchester. Oh, I, I, before, I, knew Man, I knew Davina before Manchester. Oh. I knew Davina before she was Davina when she was... What was she called? Madame Farachina. Right, holding on to that bit of information. Someone remind me later. Madame Farachina, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My name is Dominic Berry, I'm a poet, and you are watching the best bits of Chewing the Cud. Like this bit here. Hi, Dom. Hello, lovely to be here. Great to have you. I just froze then. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Hiya! Yay, There's a car coming straight for me, what's going on? <laughs> We have, yeah. <laughs> it's like my brain just went, and words? No, shan't. It's on strike. Yeah, that's why my brain Is, went. Yeah. Are there are there meant to be different colours for these? Uh, no, it's when you scroll. Actually, this week I'm bringing you should be should be blue. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This we'll do great, it. Great we'll to be here. Go. Yes. Um, Giving it away for free isn't really selling <laughs> it, is it? <laughs> Did I say welcome back to Chewing the Cud? Um, so welcome to Chewing the Cud. Oh. What, however you want to open the show, and then it's what, what you've got to say, Mike. Oh, brilliant. What? Well, well, me? Oh, OK. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, the underwear. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember what I said, if I could make it funnier. I can't, because I'm shit. Um, <laughs> You say, you say, you say, you know, selling it. It's more like giving it away or putting it in the laundrette. It's not really selling it. I love that view. I love that view. Well, <laughs> welcome back to Chewing the Cut. You're joined with me, Nick Charles, and I have the lovely Mike Rowe. <gasps> Benyon Rowe. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've been told. Have you, have you not been seen I've been told. Oh, yeah. I've been told. <laughs> what, is, what is my hair doing today? Well, let me just fix it there. There we go. It's the teddy bear behind you. Yeah, it is. I know. Bastard. We good? Comment. About your underwear that you're selling. So yeah, have you been saying underwear for free? Well, we've nice. got another pair in here. Mm -hmm. um, Matthew Lawrence with Chili from TLC. That's not the right picture. No. <laughs> Neither of them are sharing the love with their dad, so oh, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's, pick, let's, let's pick that one up. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not a fan of her. Okay. Sherry's my least favorite Spice Girl, do you know why? She left the girls she's, when we needed she's her. Done, she's done a lot worse than oh. that, to be fair. She's not a... a I nice, mean, she has done yeah. a lot worse, but... I don't want to get... I don't, I don't want to get to sue me. 
I'm too pretty for jail. <laughs> <laughs> Should we give Susan a little bit a twist again? Yeah, why not? Go on then. Ooh, the 90s again. Oh, Jesus Christ. You wouldn't know that because you don't. Well, try it. Try it. You'll never know what I know. Yeah. I'll pick a nice square. Oh, Ooh, a gay man. You must know. No, I've not had every single one. But it's a live. I mean, your face studio. tells me differently, though. <laughs> Toilet walls tells me differently. Oh, but I'm, I've not had every single one. Anyway, go on. Push question. What kind of show is this? Is it a casting couch you're on there, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Very stupid. Very Darren stupid. Hayes and Danielle Jones were members Savage of Garden. which pop duo that was popular in the 1990s? Savage Garden. Yes, it was Savage Garden. Ooh. Do you know what's interesting? I remember, I remember seeing I remember singing Darren Hayes and I was like, oh my God, he's so beautiful. And then he came out. I think he's gay, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And I still don't want to shag him now. Well, younger Darren Hayes. Yeah. New Darren Hayes. He's aged well. Yeah, he has aged well, but he's also very picky about the men he dates. Unless you're bald with a beard, he doesn't pay attention. Yay! Yay! Which means you send a lovely chance, Mike, which is nice because usually you don't, so that's nice. Anyway. <laughs> People are very, 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 very dangerous games to play. <laughs> what was the question that you threw on the floor that you said I wasn't going to get? Uh, um, should I, should I look for the card? Give me a second. Let me see what I could find. It was which band had a hit in 1998 with "You Get What You Give." I wouldn't have got it. It was the New Radicals. Okay, fair enough. See, I told you. You see, I would. You know what I've done? I saved you from being embarrassed on live national TV. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you really didn't. <laughs> Listen, we can pretend. Yeah. Right. Great. Anyway, <laughs> um, enough of that. But stick around because next we have. These new implants just aren't settling. Hmm? These new implants just aren't settling. You can borrow our breastplate if you want. Oh no, it's all good, don't it's, worry. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's very cheap. Yeah, yeah. Do I have to like do it instead? Do you know what? I actually look really calm and ready, you know? That's good. That's nice. You did. Nice. We've not had to adjust you at all. Ah, must be nice. All that years I've been on porn up pays off. Call, call me daddy. <laughs> not you. <laughs> stop, stop your shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something, but my brain just went into I'm not Nick. Don't yeah, say we that. do that. You know what you should get? She get like you know you two in that room should get like a, a KY sponsorship. That'd be great. I'll just come with my phone and be like, hi guys. And so J Loop. <laughs> uh, Paris Monroe said, I hope today is going well. Oh, oh we love, love Paris. Yeah. So yeah, just thanks for watching. See you soon. I wanted to buy and then. Right. I love hearing you both argue. It's so nice. <laughs> I just want to throw some paint and lube and see what happens in that room. Don't want to. <laughs> 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 oh, <God>. We did. <laughs> It'd be a very dusty room. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we're going to get some... Put my teeth back in. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we're going to get all cultured as we go plunging headfirst into the poetic... poetic... <laughs> <laughs> There's no gin. <laughs> 
You're watching Chewing the Cud with Dominic and Mike. Now let's get ready for... <laughs> Love the smile. I loved it. Why did you smile? <laughs> um, you're watching Chewing the Cud with Dominic and Mike. I liked the laugh. I liked the laugh. <laughs> we said something witty during the break. What I was going for there, Dean? <laughs> There was a there was a reaction there that was very like really what? So, who are, are you secretly married? Because something's wrong here. So it's Michael it's many, many James things. Edward Benyonro. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not he's not a, he's not actually not a host at all. He's a journalist. Told you. No, I told you. <laughs> Please let me know where that clip is from. Greedy bum. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's from Tilla Black with a thing on um, on Blind Aid. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, he's not a guest at all. So, so you have all is it is it these names of men you've killed? No, no, no these so the, the, or men you slept with for money. So it's the tradition in, in in our family that you know someone get you get a family name, right? And I was the last, so I got a couple of extras. Oh, um, because then the names don't die out. Whoops, backfire. <laughs> um, well, this is a, someone with millennial name. We don't expect shame. you to be straight. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look at that turned out. Yeah. Whoopsie. Um, Welcome to the family. Yeah. Well, I can still have kids. <laughs> Up the bum, no babies, baby. I could, I could get someone else pregnant. They do things with turkey basters and things these days. It's very advanced. Um, well. Well, thank you very much. If we could get those pictures of Joe Wick sent over to my phone, that would be great. But sticking up, sticking up. Well, that's, that's the f***ing out taking it. Oh. Stick it up. It's <laughs> all that talk of Joe Wicks there, my love. <laughs> I believe it's called bricking it. Um, well, thanks for that. Well, I forgot what I said then. Their initials are L, M and S, W. Best bit of the entire episode. We're only part one in, but that's it. We peaked. We peaked. That's it. Have a cup of tea. Have a biscuit. Day done. No idea. We know men. Oh, was it meant to be a VT? Oh. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one late over there. <laughs> to interact with us on social media, it's... No, it's me. Oh, no! It's me. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. That's okay. It was probably scrolling. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah. Cool. So... You're watching Chewing the Cud, and this week we're going to play Lazy Susan's Question Roulette, and this is for On the Bar. I'm there. Uh... Oh, now you want me to talk like I'm some sort of performing monkey. Well, I'm not. I shan't talk when you want me to talk. I'm just going to sit here and be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that's the big of... <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that again. I'll do that again. I'll, I'll, I, I can beep it, can't I? <laughs> I can beep it like I said, Gloria Hunter. It's fine. I mean, is I mean, is he? Well, that's what he said. I mean, she must have been into it because, I mean... But this, um, again, I'm going to say, no, there's someone out there that's a market for people who are into that. So, I'm sh and where did she post it on TikTok? Which means that she probably pushed out, pushed out somewhere else. The fandom. Mm. Pleasure as always, Nick. <laughs> but next we have him <laughs> and the showbiz. Let's go somewhere in there. Uh... Oh no, that's the wrong. That's the wrong. It's the, the yeah, it's these ones, isn't it? I 
and as names lovingly linger along the bottom of the screen, it's this week's Showbiz with Dominic. <laughs> the wrong thing but that's okay I forget he, wait he's been on Strictly I, I'm not sure whether he's done Strictly I'm not sure. just a picture of Will Young looking Will Young comfortable I believe the phrase ages is ages very well he has aged very well very well Fine. Yeah, they decided to clean the carpets, and that's going to cost them a fortune. Oh, well, do you know what? I will give it to them. They do clean that carpet. I've watched them clean it. I just With think what? it's. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen them replace that carpet, but it still felt the same. <laughs> I was going to say, it still stick to it. Nothing changes. Nightclubs just shouldn't have carpet, full stop. No. Never. <laughs> okay, just just bear with me two seconds because you're confusing me with 90 minutes on the clock. They're <laughs> pressing buttons downstairs, it's in the corner of my hand. Oh, no, anymore. Um, okay, so what we're talking about styles, you know, favourite ones on it. Okay, yeah, I was, I was, I was, yeah. I was going to go on with something else. It is all just words, yeah. Um, Oh, okay, I'm going to go with this one because they're dead. Fab. <laughs> <laughs> it's important to still have limelight even when you're dead. It is. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> okay, right. I, I feel like I need to butch up a bit for this one. It's Michael Jackson. No. Okay. Definitely not. Okay. Um, right. Right, I'm gonna skip to the chorus. It's Paradise. It is by um with the hair and and the glasses down there. Come on, you can do this. And it was and it was the woman with the school kids and the dangerous minds. And they were on Big Brother. It was. I didn't watch Big Brother. Not Celebrity Big Brother. Nile Down. Nile Downing. That's not the name of the person, is it? Ryan no. Dowling. No. 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 So it was like they were on Celebrity Big Brother. Um, it was quite. It was good season. George Galloway. It wasn't George Galloway. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you want me to be the cat? <laughs> oh my little pussy. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that one. That was the best one. <laughs> yeah. That was the best Celebrity Big Brother, hands down. OK. Um, I think oh. they were on the, the season with Tina Malone. I don't know. From Shameless. Oh, that one? Yeah. I'm oh. a f***ing fat f <laughs> That one. <laughs> That's the one, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Coolio. It is Coolio. It took me Yay. some time. Yeah. You got, oh, I've, I did the green card. Sorry. We can cut that. OK. OK, right. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Last one. I mean, it had, she probably, she probably, she probably one of those fitness, those fitness freaks that need to get their macros and their calories in. Probably, I'm sure she read an internet eating raw, eating raw food probably thing. But the salmonella, there's dangers. Um, but yeah, so the, the couple of questions that came up because this is her TikTok. She she shared it on. Um, she's quite clearly dressed for a night out. So she's, you know, got, got a glad rags on. I have... And she's eating raw fish. So she's going out on a night out smelling a fish. Oh. I mean, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of jokes I can make about that statement, but I'll bring it right back to centre. Um, imagine... No, I'm just saying, imagine, like, being a cis man. Mm -hmm. Cis het man. And you're, like... Met this girl in the club, she's looking fine, and the mouth opens and <laughs> like a fireball. You get hit with salmon bread, I'm out. My body just leave, I'm out. Can you imagine? No. Oh, and fish, fish itself is an acquired taste. But imagine someone opening, imagine someone going dong on you and smelling like fish. <laughs> We triggered I mean, something here. I know salmon, I know, I know, I know, I know salmon like swims upstream, but uh -huh. Jesus, that's yeah. a lot. Looks like you know, like you know when you, when you lose children, it pays on like a like a milk box. 
Yeah. That's what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> so, has anyone lost a, a radio presenter and DJ? <laughs> I know. Look, free to a good home. <laughs> free or nearest off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I know. Not touching him. What's going on here? <laughs> you, need to, you need to pay to be inside me, you know. You need to be a monthly subscriber. Only $9.99. With VAT. Oh. With VAT. That's only, what? On part 19? <laughs> up! <laughs> <laughs> the only way is up! You never swipe baby. down, dude. Never swipe down. But Nick, just as full warning, mm -hmm. I am purposefully shit at this. Are you? Okay. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it's more fun that way. Do you want nineties or do you want hum that tune? Nineties. You want a nineties question? Because I, I remember some of it. Oh, I do. Oh, yes. Okay, fab. Now, Spice Girls. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. Okay. Now, the writings on the wall was a 1999 album from which girl band? I'm going to have to press you because I will be very disappointed if you don't know it. And I will say this is probably in one of my top five albums of all time, so no pressure. And it's not the Spice Girls. It's not the Spice Girls. But no. It's a girl group. It's a girl group. The writings on the wall. The writings on the wall. All Saints. It wasn't All Saints. Okay. Would you like a clue? Yeah. Okay. So they've all gone on to have very. Okay. Some of them have gone on to have very successful <laughs> solo careers. Destiny's Child. And I would say... <laughs> hmm? Destiny's Child. That's correct, it's Destiny's <laughs> Child. <laughs> yes. Was, you said some of them have gone well, on. They, uh, they, right, don't get me wrong. Look, they have all gone on to be successful. They've just gone different routes about it. And I'd say that it's a very staggered hierarchy in terms of success. Here's you've got Beyonce. Who is like Who's deity, mm -hmm. goddess literally can do no wrong in most people's eyes. Kelly Rowland, who used to text people on Excel. Yeah, she did text people on Excel, but she's had some lovely songs. She has. I think one of my favorite Kelly Rowland lyrics that she ever did was, um, I'm down for whatever. When it comes to you, I'd make love on the floor. I was like, okay. That's classic. So she's really dirty. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> really dirty. I mean, poor sex on the floor. That's imaginative. Kinky.